three, two, one. We're live. Okay. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in to another edition of Foodie Fridays. I'm down here at City Limits with a friend, Rich, from the Food Zone and QuadCitiesRestaurants.net. We're going to learn all about his passion for restaurants and what he's doing for the local Quad City restaurant scene. Um, remember that uh, Blue Jacket now, you can subscribe to the loyalty programs of your favorite uh, restaurants like City Limits by giving them a thumbs up in the app, you can also set your preferences. So now you can uh, receive offers from the places you like and none you don't, uh, trying to make it as easy for you to find the places you enjoy most. Uh, remember to like, comment, and share this video for a chance to win a $20 gift card to City Limits. That's a uh, $20 gift card to City Limits. Like, comment, and share this video. So uh, Rich, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you fell in love uh, with the restaurant industry. Well, years ago, um, I was kitchen manager at Village Inn. And then I kind of veered off from that and got away from the food part of it and went into photography, sports photography. And then here about a year ago, then I got calls to do uh, food shots for menus. So I kind of got into it and then got fell back in love with it. And, of course, I love diner, diners, dive-ins, and dives on TV. And I said, well, we need to do something like this around here if we're a customer, if you're a Customer from out of town, you're coming here for a couple of weeks to go to a softball tournament. Um, where do I eat? Where do I research to eat? And got on the internet, and you know, you find Yelp, Google, some of these other websites, but it's all just you know, you read. You yeah. There's no video. Yeah. So I put something together. So I will do an episode once every two weeks. I'll go to family-owned restaurants, not the big chain restaurants, and we will get the word out where people can go and eat yep. and it's just been booming. I mean, we're booked up to June of next year. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, when we first met was when you did the C uh, Cinnamon and Sage, Sage yep. restaurant. Um, I was actually a, a guest or not a guest, but uh, you're on uh, the episode. Yeah, I'm yeah. on the episode. I'm in there eating and enjoying some of the food down there at City, uh, City Limits. No, that's where I'm at today. Cinnamon and Sage, um, who will be on uh, Foodie Fridays here in a few weeks with Aaron Howard from uh, Howard Health Quarters as well. Um, so what, uh, you sort of talked a little bit about it, but, uh, what makes you unique is, um, sort of that hands-on visual audio yeah. aspect. And you said you got into that, the photography through sports, which I think is really cool. Yeah. You did a lot of local stuff yep. as well, right? Yep. I, I still shoot for the steam wheelers. Um, yep. it's a blast down there. If, if you haven't seen the steam wheelers game, definitely get down there this season. Um, you're right down there on the field with the players. And the, the steam wheelers are going to be on an upcoming episode, right? Am uh, I right? Well, we or? had one. We had them on uh, uh, Rich's Saturday Showcase, okay. which is another thing I do, kind of like your food, uh, yeah. Foodie Fridays. Um, we had them on there. But periodically throughout the year, I get okay. a couple players more during when they're in season playing um, and the owners to some of the restaurants. So customers can meet them and come okay. on out. But. And, and you do the food zone and restaurant or Quad City restaurants. So uh, before we dig into the food, do you want to tell us a little bit about the difference and, and how users can use both of those? So the food zone, I do one episode every two weeks. You can watch that on YouTube or by going to the foodzone.net. And then there's a separate rest or website called quadcityrestaurants.net where you go on there and the the user can pick by city or by type of food. So if you're looking for a barbecue in the Quad Cities, you click on barbecue, it's gonna bring up all the barbecue restaurants in the Quad Cities, and it'll tell you the name of it, location, um, the menu, and then there's gonna be a one short, one minute trailer there, just like a movie trailer. Okay. For one minute, you can watch all you know their food, all the hot, hot topics of that restaurant. Perfect. And then if we've done an episode, you can click on the link and it'll take you right to the, my YouTube channel and you can watch the full episode. Our episodes are around 15 minutes long. Okay. Also, on every single page, with every single uh, every single page, you'll see your Blue Jacket link there because we've partnered in with you yep. and they can get coupons for those restaurants. Awesome. So. Coupons just like the ones for City Limits. So right. Julie from City Limits is going to pop in real quick. Uh, and because Rich and I are salivating um, over here looking at this food. <laughs> so this is Julie. She's the manager down here at City Limits. And she's going to tell us a little bit about what we're enjoying here today. So these are two of our most popular oh, items um, over here. These are, I'm sorry. No. That's our spinach artichoke dip 
and chips. Mm. So we make that homemade here in the restaurant. Oh, yeah. I tilted it on its side for presentation purposes. <laughs> Makes it hard for dipping, though, right? Yep. We take um, actual pitas, cut them, deep fry them, sprinkle them with Parmesan for our chips. So we have kind of an original chip with them. I approve already. <laughs> that was a good bite. And, and what the is this one? Is our outer limit loin. So um, here at City Limits, the limit loin was the most popular item. Oh yeah. And then when we got here, we thought we needed to put our own spin oh, on yeah. it. Oh yeah. So we. This is um, looking good. Dredge it, dredge it in uh, our flour, our okay. seasoned flour, and then we cook it in butter. So it's kind of like your mom used. To. Music like your mom used to make, man. Yeah, that was good. Look, like you can see the breading right down there, just like she's talking about. Oh man, awesome. Yeah, we are. Well, that you know, from a, from a health conscious perspective, that's not bad, right? Actually, I think that's our most popular sandwich. Yep, awesome. Um, so we are excited to to dig in here and try this next during the the, the fun round of questions for Rich. Uh, but before we do, what is uh. What is a good reason to get some people down here this weekend? Uh, families in town. I know you guys are family friendly, but what other good reasons do people have to come down here uh, and try City Limits this weekend? So every Saturday, Sunday, we have our morning Oh, yeah. We have uh, your, your call on the back. Uh, all tens of kinds of olives, yep. pickles, fruits, veggies. It's kind of a breakfast in its own itself. And, um, and, and just as a gathering place, yeah. in, the, in the Quad Cities, this is a really great yeah. gathering place. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, you know, one time, like with the holiday seasons like this, a lot of times you have grandma and grandpa in town. Sometimes the craft beer scene isn't for them. The bar and grill is a little too loud. Um, yeah, you got the you got the bar side over there, and you got the nice quiet side of the restaurant here where we're we're Beautiful eating back here. Um, so when I signed up City Limits, uh, probably one of my most popular Facebook posts was I came out here and I took a selfie with my big B in front of City Limits, and the caption said, "Finally, somewhere to take my grandma with blue jacket," and um, everybody liked that, and Grandma's happy now too. So thank you very much, Julie. I appreciate this food. Rich and I are gonna dig in. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. I want uh, viewers to know that we, the Food Zone has done this episode, episode 16. Go to the Food Zone on YouTube and you'll find it. And you can watch them back in the kitchen making this sandwich. And mm. it's an awesome episode. Uh, this is an awesome place. And I got to say, besides this, I'm, you and me both hit a lot of restaurants throughout the quad. Yes, we do. Thursday night. Homemade meatloaf here is the best I've tasted in the Quad Cities. You have to come down and try it. It is homemade from scratch. Grandma's recipe is what they tell me. Um, <laughs> and it's on the episode, and you'll see pictures of it, but it, it'll blow your mind away. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Um, I've been eating here since I was a very little kid. So this it's been – I've enjoyed um, working with restaurants that I ate at as a kid. So – uh, it's like life comes full circle. So here we go. We're going to get into the fun questions here. So, um, Rich, uh, you don't own a restaurant right now, but if you did, what kind of restaurant would it be? You know, I lean towards diner food. Mm -hmm. I love diner food. Um, breakfast has always been my specialty. Yep. I'm working at Village Inn throughout the years. Um, so if I had to open one up, open one up that's what it would be. Um just get some gravy, omelets, yep. all that stuff, you know, corned beef hash made from scratch. That's that's what I would shoot for. Okay. So if you could now, I mean, today you got to suffer through lunch with me, um, <laughs> and you can dig in as well. Uh, <laughs> don't make me eat by myself. But <laughs> if you could eat at a restaurant with anybody alive or dead, who would it be? Alive or dead. Ooh, that's, that's a tough one. Um well, is Elvis still alive? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> One of each, right? Yeah, he, well, he, he, well, yeah. we'll go with yeah, Elvis. Yeah, he's peanut butter. And, it was that peanut butter and jelly or peanut yeah. butter and pickles, something. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, then I can invite my mom. Yeah. She's a big Elvis fan. That, yeah, so. good. That, you always got to think of mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was your favorite meal as a kid, and is it different now? Favorite meal as a kid, um, well, you know, everybody grows up with pizza, or most of us do. Yep. You know, we only live maybe four blocks from Harris Pizza uh, in Rock Island. I remember as a kid before I had my license, you know, and back then a small pizza was only $5. Yeah. You'd order a small pizza, you'd run up there and get it, and then you'd ride back, you know, on your bicycle. Oh, yeah. You know, try and do the waiter thing, driving through the alleys to get home, you know. And, you know, so pizza would have to be, you know, 
the top pizza. That's an American classic, right? It is. Um, All right. So, um, if you had to choose, if you had to eat with your hands or chopsticks the rest of your life, what would you choose? Uh, it'd definitely be hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd starve to death if I try to eat with chopsticks. No, no one so far has chosen chopsticks yet, which is pretty funny. Um, so here's, you know, you're a food connoisseur just like myself. Um, so here's a good one for you. Is a hot dog a sandwich or not? Well, it all depends how you defin the, what the definition of a sandwich is. I mean, if you're talking two two pieces of bread and a piece of meat in the middle, well, then yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just laying on its side. It's yeah. not laying, you know, up and down. So, I would have to go with yes. Okay. Um, now, would you um, rather eat, or are you a pancake or a waffle person? I am a pancake person. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so many people it, are pancake people. And that's just coming from the village inside of me. Yeah. You know, I mean, yep. Oh, because you guys compete with the Waffle House, right? Yeah. <laughs> but man, yeah. I see. I like, I like waffles. They're crunchy. They're crispy. Oh man, I don't know. I'm, but so far in um, since we rolled out the new format in three episodes, everybody's I'm, I'm like, pancakes. Everybody's been pancakes. <laughs> so that's been real fun to figure out. Um, do you know what the worst meal you'd ever you ever ate was? <sighs> Now that's oh boy, that should be a hard one. You're so good at picking restaurants you don't know. You've never yeah, been to yeah. a bad one. <laughs> that's right. Not in the Quad Cities anyway. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to wrap up here. Um, so thanks for being here today, no Rich. Problem. It was fun to, to get to know you and, and ask you a little bit of these fun questions and, and have some fun. Um, so real quick, if you want to shout out. Uh, where people can find you on Facebook and, and social media, and then I'll let everybody know about the giveaway. Well, I'll do the giveaway quick. Uh, okay. share, like, comment, and share this video for a chance to win a twenty dollars Visa or Visa gift card, City Limits gift card. My bad. Um, and then uh, we'll also post links uh, to all of the social media in the description. But where can we find the Food Zone? Food Zone. You can go to thefoodzone.net, and then you can also type in the Food Zone on YouTube to watch all our episodes. And then quadcityrestaurants.net, where you can find all the restaurants in the quad cities, like I said, by choosing by city or by type of food. And that will guide you. Of course, Facebook, we're on there by quad city restaurants or the food zone. You can find us either way. But Awesome. Yep. Oh, one last question. Um, holiday season, turkey or ham? We are definitely, well, my favorite is ham. Okay. And I just told you before the yeah. episode, you know, they had it on Facebook, crock pie ham. Brown sugar, ham, brown sugar, honey, two cans of chunk pineapple, seven hours. It was the best ham I ever had in my life. You Melted it, in your mouth. You heard so, it here. There you go. That's how you do Thanksgiving right, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. Happy holidays. Enjoy your week with the family. See you next week.